The last part of this week's material goes briefly through other non-parametric tests, just so that you know what if, for instance, your data is not normal, and so on, which tests are appropriate. So we have the sign test, and that one is suitable paired test for small sample sizes. So normally when we test things, a kind of rule of thumb minimum would be at least 10 observations when you compare two samples. Even more than 20 is better, but 10 is like an absolute minimum when you can consider parametric tests. So in case you have paired test but with small sample size, then you should use the sign test. The next one is Wilcoxon's signed rank test. So now, if you remember when we were testing two sample means with unknown variances, we were using t-procedure. But actually that t-procedure is allowed to be used only if you have big enough sample size or if the sample size is small, you can assume normality. So if you have small sample size, like 10 or less observations, then before using normal t-test, you should verify normality of your data. But in case the sample size is small and you cannot assume normality, then you should use this Wilcoxon signed rank test. komogorov smirnov test is used for comparing whether two samples come from the same distribution. We have already looked at it when we were going through different distribution families in the first week, and so it is non-parametric because we are comparing the cumulative distribution function. So we are not using distribution parameters for the comparison, but rather check the distance kind of between the two samples. And it is stronger than just checking are the mean and variance of the samples the same. Then we have the man whitney rank sum u test. So it tests whether a random selected value from one sample will be less than or greater than a randomly selected value from a second sample. And it does not require normality assumption. So it's pretty specific case in here. cruz wallis test is non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. So it does not require normality assumption. So in case you have data where you test three or more populations and after verifying the samples, you realize that they are not normally distributed or not significantly close enough to normality, then you should consider this Kruskal Wallis test. And finally, Friedman test is non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA with repeated measurements. So it is used to test for differences between groups when the dependent variable being measured is ordinal.